Greetings, Earthlings. When a child answers correctly, she feels good and looks good to others. Nothing wrong with that, but even IBM's Watson makes mistakes on its way to becoming a Jeopardy champion. Always getting the right answer only supports the goal of not making a mistake. At Schiller Math, that's not our goal because we don't think learning can occur without making mistakes. When I was 13, I had a life-changing experience in social studies, which wasn't my favorite subject. The social studies teacher knew that I loved math and that I had come up with this conjecture about prime numbers. He asked if I would participate in the study. He was doing for his Harvard PhD. I was honored. Of course I said yes. He put me in a room with a tape recorder and requested that I talk about my conjecture. I couldn't wait to tell the world how smart I was and how cool this conjecture was. After 15 minutes confidently building my case, I found a counterexample. I remember it, 91, 13 times 7. It's not a prime number. I was crushed. What did I do? What would you have done? Well, I hope you wouldn't have done what I actually did. I was so embarrassed that I made a mistake and was wrong with my conjecture that I rewound the tape recorder and pressed the erase button. And then I told my teacher my conjecture was wrong, I had wasted his time, and I'm freeing up his tape to use on another student. He said, on the contrary, my study is to examine how aware children are of their own mistakes and how they deal with them. Your response was priceless. Well, I realized after significant pain and self-reflection that I was way too wrapped up in my ego and not enough vested in learning new things. I valued being right and avoiding mistakes way more than making them and learning something new. That's when I realized it was a mistake to think it's not okay to make a mistake. One.